I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making in a simulated Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll alternate between the dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have three jokers, a flower, an eight dot, two, three, five, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of nines, four, five, eight in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play Big odds, five, seven, nine. Probably let that go. Five, seven, nine. Keep the five. We might be able to do the concealed hand. So let's pass one of each suit. Three, four, eight. Five, five. There is a mixed suit odd hand, third or second hand down, five, seven, nine Kongs. If we get a seven dot, we'll be able to play that and leverage both of these multiples. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could just dis discard this flower later and then just play big odds. Here's a dragon. There is a one suit dragon hand, five, seven, nine dragon. We would have to discard this. So we have like numbers there. I would not pass that. I think what I would do is break up the five and pass one of each suit. Actually, that's not one of each suit. We've got eight bams and a dot. Seven, another multiple. Five, seven, nine, dragon. I think I would pass these three. Five dot, west and south. I would break up the winds, pass these three. Flower, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. We need mixed suits, flowers. This year it's five, let's say five dot, seven bam, nine crack. We can't use these flowers unless we switch to the concealed hand. We need a one bam, single, pair, three bam, and then a pung of five bams, which we could use those. Let's do that. This is a little risky here, but we're on the cross pass, so we have to pass. Oh, one five. Okay, so that's better than a three. So let's do that. We can do, let's see, use this for the nine, this for the fives, we need a pair of threes. That's a gap, so it is a little bit risky. Let's pass one blind. Red dragon. Let's see, red dragon is back. Five, seven, nine dragon. We have one discard. 
flowers. It's a little risky playing a hand with a gap, and that gap is a pear. Hmm. You know, the other thing we could do is play seven, eight, nine Kongs in one suit. And that way we can use the flowers and not have a pear gap. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we could even play. No, I was thinking a quint, but really seven, nine, that's not helpful for that quint. They have to be consecutive tiles. I think I would maybe just pass to let the dragon go. Because we could still maybe play that concealed hand if we get a three dot in there. Let's pass two. West and East. I would just discard those and take it pick by pick. Either the concealed hand if we can get three dots or seven, eight, nine using the jokers for the missing eight. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. This is pull one. We have, oop, we have a west, a pair of white dragons, one four in cracks, one five six eight in bams, one four five six eight in dots. All singles there, one multiple right here. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I probably would play consecutive run four, five, six, seven. There's also some potential for like numbers with either, well, ones, fours, or eights. But because we're focusing on four, five, six, I probably would let the ones go. and the west, but I would not pass like numbers. So I would let something in here go. We have fours, we have eights, we have four, five, six. So maybe let the five bam go. We could even do like numbers with fives though. Four crack, four dot, five bam, five dot, six dot, 6.6 bam, 8. I mean, we could use like numbers with this in many ways. So we just need to pick something. I think it's going to be arbitrary. Let's let the 4 go. Let's pass these 3. We got an 8 and an 8. So this is, this is the first multiple right there. 8, 8. Eight. I'd play probably like numbers with eights. We did pick up a multiple with the ones. So we could maybe go back to ones. Let's see here. This is going to be a pretty risky pass there. Since we have all three eights, let's let a one go. So let's do that, one, five, six, and that way we're left with four, six, and a five. 
or we could let these go too. All right, let's let these go here. You know what I was just thinking? Maybe we could do two, four, six, eight with eights and let that go. We have a gap, no two. There's a two bam. We do have tiles to pass. We really don't have to make a decision. Looks like we have like numbers with eights or evens in here. Let's see. Let's pass one of each suit. Flower and a six. Looks like two, four, six, eight or like numbers with eights. Maybe eight crack, eight bam, flower, and dragon. Flower, that's another multiple. So I would focus, I think, on eights. Probably like numbers with eights and dragons. But I would just wait and not pick a hand. So we have eight, four, six, eight, six, seven, nine. That's pretty risky. I, I don't think I would do that. I would break all that up. Maybe do nine, six, two, focus on eights. We got an eight. Here's a south, four, let's see, seven, those. Eight, eight, dragon. This is the wrong dragon for like numbers with eights and dragons. We don't need all three eights. So let's see here. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Maybe keep the seven because there is a hand. Seven, eight, nine with sevens in the mid or eights in the middle. If we get a nine crack, that would be a big if. And we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. I don't think I would do that. I would want to leverage the flowers. Two eights. All right, let's just pass these. Okay, so we have an east, six, three. Really, these aren't, this isn't helpful at all. Let's see what we get in the optional. Ones, oh, oh, this was a rough Charleston, five discards. But we do have some potential for a like number hand. Let's see, eights. Hmm, I think I might keep that seven. Discard those. Just see what happens. I would not pick a hand here, primarily because this is the wrong dragon for the like number hand with flowers, unless we played double pungs and kongs of eights. I would keep an eye on that. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below the video with pull two. We have a couple of jokers, pair of flowers, east and south, red, white. Then we have three, four, five in dots, one, two, eight in bams. The only multiple we have is a flower, pair of flowers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, 
I think I would let the winds go and build around number tiles. We could let an eight go for sure, because here we have one through five. One, two, three, four, five. We have three, four, five. Three, four, five flowers. There's a one suit hand, third one down, and there's the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run in one suit with dragons. So, let's see. Let's let a one bam go. There's a five, three, four, five dragon. Here's a one. We could do one, three, five, but the one, three, five hand with flowers is a mixed suit hand under concealed one, three, five, and then let's say five, seven, nine, but we have a gap, no five, seven crack. We could pass those three though. Let's just see what happens. We might be able to do one, three, five concealed. Dragon, okay, so there's another multiple. I would play three, four, five dragon and let those go right here. Let's see, six, nine, west. Nine dot. So maybe one, five, eight. Okay, here we go. So we didn't get any keepers. Maybe these three. Okay, no keepers. There's a seven. Three, four, five is strong though. I think what I would do is pass these three. Okay, so we have an eight, one. Still, there's some one, three, five. One, three, five, dragon, no flowers. We'd have to throw that away. But we have tiles we can pass. No keepers. There's one, three, five, seven, nine. I think I would let those go, but I might keep this. Because we could do one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Probably not. I think I would probably play three, five, three, four, five dragon. I think that's what I would do here and let those go. Four discards and a hand with no gaps. I think that's pretty good. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would have done. American Mahjong is unique in the world of Mahjong because we do something called, okay, no, that's not true. There are three versions that do a Charleston. Three, two, one. In American Mahjong, the Charleston is the first phase of the game where players pass unwanted tiles between them. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can optimize your potential to win building around multiples, or the predominant pattern. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.